Hello, this is Becky Raisler. I have um, Becky's Junk Journals on Instagram and on YouTube. And today I'm going to show you a little bit about this junk journal that I'm working on. And this is my hope journal that I've made for myself. And it's got three signatures uh, and uh, the pamphlet stitch. And it's got a little vintage jewelry pieces dangle that I made uh, out of old necklaces and, and bracelets. It's got a ribbon tie through here and through here for closures. Back. And it's a fat one. Okay, let's open this baby up. What I'm going to do with this as I continue working in it is <clears throat> put uh, quotations that I like that are affiliated with hope um, and um, things that give me hope. I'm going to do pictures and photos. Okay. This one is uh, inspired by Kate Maurer and um, all her fold-outs, pockets, and flip-outs. And this flip pocket fold-out, flip-out thingy has five pockets, six tags, two belly bands, and a double fold-out, and two booklet fold-outs in this one page of things. So there you got the title page and that opens up to a little journaling space and then it opens up this way for more journaling space in a little belly band with a little tag. It goes in it. Then you've got a pocket back here, a pocket back here, a pocket there, a pocket there, and you could put something in the pocket down below too. And I thought that was a fun thing to do. Over here, this is um, from an original acrylic uh, painting that I did. Actually, it's mixed media painting and I it was on canvas and I just cut the canvas out to make a pocket. And I have a little notebook I made. And then I put plain tags and cards and papers in each pocket that I put in when I'm first starting out to inspire me for what I want to do to complete the whole look. Okay. Nope, I didn't skip a page. It was just thick enough that <laughs> I thought I did. All right, we have a flip up with the journaling space there. <clears throat> and we've got pockets here. And um, it's a plain tags and a tag that I started to work on but haven't finished and then some collage work and this is Kool-Aid dyed paper and this is one of my fun tabs that I like to make and of course I love all the lace on the edges this is it twirls <laughs> And here is a fabric and paper collaged card, journaling card, made on a, a Monopoly trading card there. And I'll probably come in and add uh, some ribbon at the top of this one to finish it off. This one I have started. It uh, doesn't open up. I thought I made this one open up. I've started decorating it as a journaling card, but I have not finished. Sometimes I get the notion of what I want on there and I do it real quick. Then I come back to it later and work on it some more. Page from a children's workbook, math workbook, I believe. And uh, a belly band. Well, this is a double belly band. 
with some papers and pockets in it. Some bit of crochet I cut up the top and bottom. Here we've got uh, a little dangle with an owl. And we've got a belly band and some cards that I'm going to be working on. This is from a crocheted uh, pattern book that I had. Another one of my handmade tabs. This one hasn't been worked on yet, but it will be. Three pockets on this one. Cards that I've made. More Monopoly and then just some color. This one I've got it laid out with colors that I want to use to decorate this layout. Kool-Aid dyed paper. Music paper. Got an envelope tied in there. And this is colored dyed paper. Here's a pocket that has been um, put, uh, I've got the colors and, and the beginnings of cards and tags there, color coordinate. When I first start out working on my journals, I go through it after I've got it so everything sewed in, I go through it and put pockets and belly bands and corner tucks and things like that through it. And then I add uh, all the colored papers and things that are going to inspire me to finish the this particular layout. That way when I get a few minutes during the day I can just open it up anywhere and have something to start from. There's a lot of writing space in this one. Although I personally don't plan on writing uh, much in this one because um, I'm a visual artist and, and I really prefer uh, drawing. What I will do is write out uh, poems and song lyrics and quotations and on another piece of paper. Uh-oh, this came out of the inside. i do that on another piece of paper and then um, I'll um, take a glue it in and then decorate around it. Because I can't just write something and it come out right the first time. <laughs> I always have to do it two or three times before I get it down like I like it. Um, that is a corner tuck and a flip out for whatever writing. Small little pocket at the bottom and my things tucked it in. This is going to be a great big journaling card. And I make this out of the junk mail cards that I, uh, those large postcards I get in the mail from car dealerships. And I just glue um, pattern paper on the front and the back. That's how I get started on working on them. Uh, so I've got the cards all cut out and ready to go. It's just a matter of finishing the layout. This is what works for me rather than to, trying to come up with a new idea every time I open up my book. This is a pocket there, a pocket there, and a flip out there for a tiny little bit of journaling space. Another one of my oddball tags that I like to make. This is a pocket here and a belly band there. Kool-Aid dyed paper, and I put some a little bit of Distress Ink on this one, too, I think. This one's going to have, this is the back of the first signature, and I've got a pocket, uh, I've got an a envelope there ready to be decorated with a pocket behind it. And I love this little miniature tassel trim I got there. Okay, here's the front of the second signature. And you've got a pocket back there, and you've got a flip up here, and then you've got a flip up there, and you got a flip out there. I could have made it where I had a pocket underneath this one too, but I just didn't think about it when I glued it down, and I really didn't need any extra bulk. This is two corner tuck pockets. And I've got my papers in there for inspiration. Kool-Aid dyed. Kids workbook. 
my things I've got in this pocket for inspiration when I get to that. And it's already got a tab on there. I love this little miniature pom-pom trim. And I love the color, too. You got a belly band. That's a single belly band with some Kool-Aid dyed paper. And this one, I put some brush-o on it. Uh, sprinkled some brush-o, some purple brush-o in there. Um, and if you've ever tried the brush-o crystals, they're, they're like um, crystallized watercolor. And you drop it into something that's liquid and, and then it kind of fans out like that. So they're, if you've never played with those, they're called Brusho, B-R-U-S-H-O. And they come in a little bitty um, shaker bottle. More Kool-Aid dyed paper. This is a double pocket with my papers in there ready to inspire me. This is a big pocket in the middle. <coughs> Excuse me. And my tabs and this is a corner tuck with my inspiration paper in there I've got a lot to do in this one I really enjoy decorating these pages this one I just did in a card in the middle another single pocket this is a page from a book that I just thought was hilarious it's a children's book and um and here's my inspiration for this layout is the you know railroads monopoly here's my inspiration with another one of my little notebooks that i made to help inspire me for that layout and the papers i've chosen to use for it here's some things that i've chosen that i'm going to work with to put in this layout and you've got a corner pocket with that beautiful little trim on it. Another children's work page. This is a belly band here. And this was made with hand, hand uh, painted um, tracing paper glued on top of white cardstock and the back is um is just uh, book pages and i'll come in and finish this up with some um probably some ink around the edges and maybe put a uh, something here to give it a focal point and this whole thing opens up to the inside which has just some blank paper tucked in there and it opens up even further to another spot that I'll probably put another page in here for, for journaling. So you can do some secret journaling. But all that tucks right back in there in that little corner spot. Get back in there. Okay. That's the end of that signature and the beginning of another. I put a lot of my little notebooks in this one. This is another little notebook that I made. Uh, I had them pre-made, so it was just easy to tuck them in there and give me some inspiration for the colors that I want to add into this one. This is the front of a, a music piano paper. And that's just a big belly band that it's going to hold a lot of stuff in it. And this is Kool-Aid dyed paper with um, blue crepe paper uh, streamers, pieces of it thrown on top. And that's how it came out. It stained the paper. That I thought that was pretty cool. Another corner pocket. More music paper. More Kool-Aid dyed with that soft little fringe. Got an envelope there in one of my colorful tabs. Back of the music paper. Pocket going this way with a fabric strip on the edge. And so that's just begun to give me my color scheme for the layout. More of that crepe paper stained paper. 
And this is one that I have, I'm calling finished. And um, this is just all collage. There's no pockets or anything on this side. Uh, this side, I just have the handmade flower. And I have a handmade flower there too. <clears throat> With a little tuck. And here is one of my cards that I'm started. Now, I've said I've got my tabs and my uh, trim all along the edges, and that's I find that real inspiring when I get to go to do the inside back of the uh, piano pages and the, the back of that. Too late, died. Came out bright on this side. And the back, where I've got a deep pocket, and this is also made, I cut up an old painting I had and, and used it. It's really textured. Well, I appreciate you watching. Tell me what you think in the comments. I appreciate it. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments, and I'll be glad to get right back to you as soon as I can. If you liked it and it was helpful, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more like this, then be sure and subscribe so I can uh, so you it'll show up in your news in your feed and your YouTube. Thank you so much, and you have a fabulous day.